All right, welcome back. So Cliff Explosives just finished. Let's go ahead and get the next science unlocked so that we can actually start taking a look at that. Um, I'm pretty sure we actually need oil uh, to in order to actually start producing this stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to tell me what I would need to be able to produce it. All right. So we need what we need. We need copper and steel and the iron sticks. So let's uh, filter out steel. So it is nice because um, it actually shows like what it's filtering. Right. Filter iron sticks. Uh, wrong one. Do that. Definitely make sure we do that so it doesn't accidentally um, destroy everything that we work towards. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's uh, go ahead. Oh, nope. Um, it's a good thing. <laughs> good thing there's uh no power. Let's uh produce those. And then what do we need for the big ones? Oh, we need. You know, we just need the same stuff. Okay, that will work just fine. need a couple more. Oh, right. I never put these into a box of some sort. Um, at some point, we might move that, but for right this second, it's fine where it is. Modules, armor, circuit network, not that big deal. Let's do that one. Does flammable sound cool? Probably didn't want that many reds, but uh, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and set this up. Yeah, this is uh why this needs to be the larges. Yeah, because all right, so what do the larges do? Well they give you more of a radius not super helpful in this uh, particular instance because unfortunately it doesn't quite reach that
but yeah, these are going to be very important for building our railroads. Oop, I did not mean to pick up the box. I just wanted the engines. So let's go ahead and make a car. We don't really need to worry about um, gotta remember how the car actually works. Uh, do that. Um. Oops. Shoot. We need to get some more of these. Just uh, make me a bunch of them. Yeah, if you haven't tell, uh, if you haven't uh, figured it out, um, I haven't played it in a few days. All right. Uh. Hmm, okay. How do I enter the car? Like, uh, okay. Let me... Let me just check. Settings. What is it? Uh, controls. Enter, okay, it's just enter. All right. All right, uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and zoom, zoom around here and hit every tree possible. All right, so we need to get to an iron source of some kind. And I see one on the map down here. Okay, love when I just run into a rock, because I'm so zoomed out that I can't really see. Alright, so here's a nice big iron patch. Let's uh, take a look at this. 21 million, alright. So that's probably going to be our goal. Um, to sort of, you know, have some vision out here, I'm going to actually, uh, set up some turrets. Uh, and we need, we're going to need, um, the big ones, unfortunately. So let's uh, let's go ahead, turn back around. Hopefully it does. Yeah, let's definitely take that. Any sort of boost or buff to our uh, mining is good. Let's go ahead, head back over here, and pick up some of these big ones. Fortunately, it does takes a while. Let me actually upgrade these two. Put this on our uh, this is um 
basically you're dealing with the uh, ink controls here. You do get a lot of distance out of these things. Ow. Alright. This would probably be much easier if I wasn't trying to drive. got three okay I definitely made a wrong turn somewhere all right that works for me so we'll now get some amount of radar over here. It will produce sound, which could aggravate any potential uh, bases in this area. But until we, you know, start producing pollution over here, I think this will be fine. Especially since I'm not really seeing any bases nearby. But yeah, this is a nice big iron patch that we definitely want to exploit. Ooh, ow. Believe it or not, the car is actually even more unruly um, without this uh, particular mod that I'm using. Most of the mods that I'm using are pretty um quality of life type mods i i personally don't like using mods that change the game too much unless you know that's specifically what i want to do ow yeah when you're so zoomed out it's hard to like Hard to really drive, but in order to, you know, actually see what you're doing, uh, it's a lot of woods, um, see where you're, like, going, kind of need to be zoomed out. Thought I could make it. So, this is a... Pretty small patch. Yeah, 4.3. I guess compared to our current one, which is actually a lot smaller. This is a lot more dense, I guess. The size isn't very large, but the density is. Okie doke. I do want to see. Yeah, we're. We need to get rail our rails up and running sooner rather than later. Long term, we might need to move all of this down to like here. Because this is um this is a nice flat area to kind of work. Ooh, that water is pretty disgusting. Surprised there's anything living in there. All right. So let's see, what do we need to do? We, I think we do want to start looking at getting rails set up. So we would need stone, like, yeah, just stone, not bricks. Um, 
iron plate or no, iron sticks and steel plates. So I think the easiest thing to do will be to ship over some stone. All this stuff is in the way. Oh, we're actually out of yellows. Uh, let's see. We need... We could honestly start upgrading things the red. Which I kind of like the idea of upgrading at least our iron producing stuff to red. Try and help increase uh, throughput here. Um, actually, we should definitely prioritize upgrading the iron ore parts first. I mean, we have plenty of red belts, so I'm not really too concerned. I think I've pretty much done all of it. Just do that since I think I upgraded. This one's probably the heaviest line. Just because I think it gets um, all of all the iron ore first. Gets like first dibs on everything. Yeah, there's definitely, it's definitely uh, something we need to, oops, we need to prioritize. We need to uh, get our rails up so that we can actually start um, producing iron again. Let me rephrase that, um, so that we don't run into the problem of not having enough iron to do what we need to do. Because, yeah, um, some of these drills are starting to uh, go away. And once uh, this patch is gone, it's gone. We can't do anything else about it. Um, stack inserters, that's probably okay. 
All right, so I think it's fine to continue to just use the yellows up here. I don't think we're in too desperate need for stone to get over here in a fast manner. Is it okay? I wasn't sure if the the wall or the um, cliff side there was going to block me or not. Okay. Ooh, we having a bit of a iron pipe shortage here. Hmm. All right. I guess we will go ahead and upgrade that to a blue. Okay. So let's see. Stone is slowly coming over here. So we need stone, steel plates, and iron sticks. So I think we will go ahead and make that rail. Um, let's uh, move this up one so that we can actually get another inserter up here place it Ooh, we should definitely limit how much these will produce yeah I think that's fine this go ahead and do up to there so we need a lot of different things in order to really get our rail up and running. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that. We'll make a locomotive by hand, and then we'll make four cargo wagons. Definitely uh, think we need to increase our um, steel or our iron rod production here all right I think what I'm going to do then is... this and um yeah i think that will work so I will upgrade these things once we get to that point, but I just wanted to make sure that I got... Got all of that uh, set up correctly. Stack inserters are done. We'll insert... Oh, actually that's really good. I'm definitely glad that we... <laughs> Definitely glad we did that one. All right, how are we doing? We 
should definitely upgrade that if we can. There's our yeah, definitely get get some more uh level two in or assemblers. We'll upgrade that to the second tier with the blue. Yeah, this is much better. And obviously it'll slow down as we complete more and more. Okay. So I think this is probably a good place to put in a cut for now. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.